welcome to St Mary's Church and morning prayer this Wednesday. We're following the Green Book um, and hopefully you've got one of those. If you don't, uh, when you get to, when we get to the end of different phrases, have a quiet word or say Amen as you follow along. Let's have a moment of quiet before we start. and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and, and also, also with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let, Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We have come together in the name of Christ to offer our praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive God's holy word, to pray for the needs of the world and to seek the forgiveness of our sins, that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we may give ourselves to the service of God. Jesus says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from our sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. We say together, Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sin and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of our prayer. Therefore shall our hearts thank the Lord, and in our song will we praise our God. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator and redeemer of all. To you be glory and praise forever. From the waters of chaos you drew forth the world, and in your great love fashioned us in your image. Now through the deep waters of death, you have brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. May Christ, your light, ever dawn in our hearts as we offer you our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed. And the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 42, and I'll just give you a moment to find that in your Bible. Psalm 42. We say together, As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me continually, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God with glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving, a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O oh my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. My soul is cast down within me. Therefore I remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep at the thunder of your cataracts. All your waves and your billows have gone over me. By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I walk about mournfully because the enemy oppresses me? As 
with a deadly wound in my body, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me continually, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We're now going to say our Old Testament canticle, which can be found on page 46. We are still saying the song of the wilderness together in the hope of that the ransoms of the Lord shall return to us singing. We hope for that every time we say this. We say together, The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. The desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. And make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, Be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall. Because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them, and was raised again. So from now on we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning. I hope you're all doing well. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this word. Amen. Amen. For Christ's love compels us. Uh, There's a lovely little... um, there in the text in that you can translate that both as my love for Christ and Christ's love for me. My love from Christ for Christ is what compels me to act and Christ's love for me is what compels me to act. It is that loving relationship that compels our actions. And even here as well, the word compel, it implies sticks it all together, holds holding us together, what compels us to act, what is at the root of why we act and who we are. Um, And this passage just tells us again how Jesus turns everything upside down. Because so often we think that we have to be good and try and do good things in order that God will love us. And and that's, that's the way round we have it again reminds us that we are loved first and we act because we are loved. We are not, we do not act so that we are loved, we act because we are loved.
unconditional love, and we respond to that. We are not trying to earn it. And this unconditional love, this passive The way that we act and that motivation and the thing that's holding us together, but it also changes the way that we look at one another. So from now on, we regard no one from the world as a Christian, though we once regarded Christ in this way. We do so no longer. So the fact that we know we are loved and forgiven, and that love is a free gift, changes the way that we look. Those of us who escaped relatively unscathed, um, who have not been ill, who have not lost loved ones, who have not lost work and income. And on the other hand, those who have lost many loved ones, who are in fear for their jobs, who have lost their homes. And this passage reminds us that we do not look at one another. Jesus loves and Jesus died for. We are full of gratitude that we ourselves are someone on whom Christ has poured out love and grace. And as we deal with one another, everyone who walks in the door, everyone we see in the shop, everyone in our very different situations, we are to look at one another in this new way as someone that Christ The love of Christ compels me. The love of Christ holds me together, keeps it together at the moment. The love of Christ is what motivates our actions. And the love of Christ is what enables us to look at each individual as someone valued and loved by God. Someone who Jesus died for, who we look at through the lens of his Allow Christ's love to keep it together for us, to compel us, to hold us together. Let us act out of motivation for love and let us look at one another, at each person in this street and in our community as someone for whom Christ died, as someone he loves and someone who he wishes to pour out his love and grace upon. Amen. Amen.
continue by declaring our faith together and saying the words of the Creed. I believe in God the Father. Who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Mary, suffered under the heart of Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. community leaders, and all for who provide local services. Give them wisdom with decisions that need to be made regarding budgets, services, COVID, and continue to help those most needy in our community. We pray for those who work with young or elderly people, including our carers, for schools, colleges and universities as they make decisions about providing education in new ways in the autumn, for emergency and rescue organizations, for those who are furloughed or who have been made redundant, and all those who have continued to work throughout this crisis, Lord, in your mercy, hear us. And for the church and her life, for the selection and process of the new Bishop of Chelmsford, for Tim and Hannah and their family as they settle into their new home, for Casey and the PCC and all decisions that need to be made to adapt to new government and Church of England guidelines for opening church for prayer and services, for our Alpha Course, Stay at Home Group, Carol's weekly cafe videos, and for our Bible reading as we approach the last chapters of Romans. And as Casey said in her sermon, we pray that we would see each other with the lens of Christ through his eyes, that we would love each other as Christ loves us. Pray for all of our wider congregation who we have not seen, and ask that you be with them today. And in a moment of quiet, we pray for those who are sick in body, mind, or spirit. we say the Lord's Prayer in whatever version, language, or way known to us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us 
not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now Katie's going to bring us our notices. Peace of the Lord be always with you and, and also with you. With you.